going on, handsome gamers? Relic here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And as you can tell, I'm still in a different room in my house for this intro. I'm trying to do every single room in my house. I don't actually do weight, unfortunately. This is my stepfather's gym. I am a weak son of a bitch. But yeah, today I have a special video for you guys where I'll be doing a self commentary, a self shell casting video. And I'm so excited for you guys to see this one because I think it's like something not a lot of people do and not a lot of people uh, tried before, at least in Fortnite. So basically everything you're about to see is me playing the game live and then shell casting myself like as a third person. You're gonna see. So this is all live. I didn't record it afterwards. I didn't commentate on the video like after filming. This all happened at the same time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Let me know in the comments below if you do. I love you, and let's jump right into the game. All right, the battle bus in this specific game seems to be taking a little bit of a different route. It's gonna go right next to Greasy Groove, Tilted Towers, and Pleasant Park. Those are all gonna have a lot of players in them, and I think Relic's gonna make a decision here whether he wants to go to Salty Springs, and I think he's gonna go to Salty Springs again for the fourth game in a row. He's gonna go into a house, look around him, see if there's any other players landing next to him. No one seems to be anywhere close, so, Good for him. There's a chest right here. Going to open it up, see what he gets. Get a little potion. That's going to be a good start to the game. And an assault rifle. Not his favorite. He absolutely sucks with his gun, but let's see if he can find another one here in this house. Going around. There's a player. He can hear someone. Okay, they're shooting shotguns. He's going to get a shotgun on the ground. He's going to pick that up. He's going to use the potion because he knows there are players next. Now, what does he do now? Does he go ahead and get the fight? Or what does he do? Does he play it safe? I think knowing Relrig, I think he's going to go for the fight because he really likes to get those early kills after people have been shooting at each other, knowing they're a little bit low on HP. So he's going to try to do exactly that. He sees the player right here just building something in the house. He's going to break that up, see if he can get a pick. Bam! Bam! He got a kill. What's happening to the commentator? Is he going crazy? I think he is. Now he's going to swap that. There's someone right below him who just opened the chest. What is he going to do about that? Now, Relic is not in the circle right now. This is not the greatest of starts. He's got a kill, and he didn't take any damage. Not bad, but he's not in the circle. He needs to make some rotations quickly enough. There's a guy right here shooting at him. Not doing bad. He got a shot him. Only 30 damage. Can he do more? The guy's... Oh, my God. He's making a bad decision. He's just running. What is he doing? What is he doing? Relic's just going at it. Shooting. And the guy's dead. Now, unfortunately, that was not the best show of, uh, of shooting by Relic. He missed a few shots on a guy that was running away from him. But we'll have to... Uh, oh, there's someone up there. He's going to try to make a few picks up on him. There he goes. Here we go. He's going to go with the minigun. Not his favorite gun, but it is a gun that's interesting to use in a scenario like this where he's just trying to tear down this house and give this person a lot of trouble. Now, this is just a great display of skill from Relric. You can tell that he's got the aim with that weapon. Seems to be master of that gun. Now he's going to try to make a pick. He can hear the other guy on the roof. He's going to have to be careful. Reload first. Do not make harsh decisions. That's what his mom told him. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. His mom told him, don't make harsh decisions. Be careful. Use your brain. Use your decision making. We talked about it before the game, and he's exactly doing that. Three kills so far. One minute before the first zone decides to start moving. 44 people alive still. This is just the beginning. He can't get too excited about all these kills and all these picks he's gotten. There are a few more houses that haven't been looted, I believe. Does he want to go look for them? No, they've actually been looted. He can hear some snipers coming out from the Dusty Depot area. He's going to be looking for who the sniper is because I know Relic loving a sniper in his hands. So he usually goes and hunts the sniper players to get their snipers and make sure he can keep them for himself. There's a kill right here. We can see the person that the sniper shot. We can see the items on the ground. The sniper has not looted the corpse because all the bullets and everything is still there. Now he's going to go and put himself right in arm's way. This is where someone died, and he's just going to go right there like nothing happened. Now he's going to get a slurp juice and a launch pad. Excellent play from him. We're going to whisper here because he needs to listen. See if he can hear any other players around here. Who was the mystery sniper? There he is, getting some wood, getting some wood right here. Got a few shots on him. 263. 
Okay, the sniper is low on HP. He's taking a lot of damage. What is Relbic going to do about it? Is he going to rush for it? Yes, he is. The sniper, unfortunately, is probably going to go down, unfortunately, for him. Not the best strategy to run away from a guy that has double shotty. Oh, no. He's going to die. Oh, all right. Well, the sniper did get a few shots on Relbic, which is good for him, unfortunately, for Relbic. But Relbic does have a health kit and four potions. So he's going to get himself full HP and 50 potions. Dusty Depot is no longer, well, just the edge of Dusty Depot is going to be within the zone. He's going to, there's someone building up there. He's going to try to make the pick here. He's going to break it up. Can he get it in time? Yes, he can. The guy falls down. He's going to take a lot of damage. Now, can Relbic make the pick afterwards? He's going to try. He's going to do his best. He's going to get a few shots in. Unfortunately, not going to work. He's going to be in the zone now. He has to be careful. He's getting shot at. Oh my goodness. He's taking a lot of damage. This other guy has incredible aim. This other person just did 100 damage to Relric from out of there. And that was incredible aim from that guy. He's got to be careful. He can't just keep, keep taking shots from him. Still has armor. Let's see here. The other person took a lot of fall damage. Coming in hot. Coming in hot with, with the shotgun. Not sure that's the best idea. He's going to go down. Good job, Relric. Great pick on this guy. Now, this was not a bad player. Did a lot of damage to Relric from far away. Took a few shots at him and took him almost down. So that was a good pick. Not a not an easy uh, not an easy player to kill. And you know you have. To, oh God. Okay, someone's shooting him from up there. Not a great player though because he can't shoot him while he's not even moving. Now Robert gonna heal himself back up to 75 at least. He needs to go for it. He's got a lot of resources to make this happen. What? is going on here can he get the play let's see he's going up going for the play he's got the double pump he need, needs to get close to make shit happen okay people are shooting at him but from where that's the question where was the mystery sniper shooting at him from can't see them did they go back down he can't tell there's someone shooting him there's someone shooting at him from back there. 19 people alive. Relbic currently has five kills. He's not doing badly, but unfortunately for him, he's only got 75 plus 20, which is not the greatest position to be in in the late game. He would rather have 100 to 100. For a late game, one uh, solo queue game, you want to have as much HP as possible. You don't rely on your teammates at all. And there's a guy down there. Can he get the shots off? That was a really close one but unfortunately not going to land. That would have been a huge help for him, given again how uh, bad his position is. There are a lot of snipers on the map. Relbic needs to be on the move as soon as possible. The zone is closing in on him. He does have a jump pad. Did he not remember that he picked up a jump pad? I think he did, re he did forget that. He did forget that for a little while. Now he's going to use the jump pad to get out of harm's way, try to get to the zone as quickly as he humanly can, and he's going to be building. This is a risky move, but can it pay off? Here he goes. He's going to put it on, and he's going to jump. Here he goes. He's going for the zone, going for the jump pad play. Does he get sniped in the air? This is a risky play, but this is what we call an all-in in Fortnite. You put your all-in in poker, and this is the all-in in Fortnite. He can see a drop in front of him. There's two of them, one up there northwest and one down there in 345. I'm going to be running for that one. There's a huge base built up there which is really scary because i'm guessing there are people up there there's shooting happening in front of him north 15 there are probably people right there he needs to be careful going in he's going to try to get the picks now this could be something good for him if people are shooting away from him if people are shooting at each other he could maybe sneak up get a few picks and maybe these people are carrying what it takes for him to stay alive potions health kits whatever it takes he may be able to get those from the people that he kills if they're not paying attention to him this is one of the strategies there's someone right here shooting minigun right in front of him he's going to try to sneak up on that person he got a few shots off but not enough he's only got a few damage on that on that guy Really not a great display of skill from Relwick. I'm not proud of him at all. He got a free shot on the guy. Okay, he got a free kill. And he's got a slug jug. This is it. This is what he was looking for. He's got the slug jug. Got the free kill. He's barely on the zone. And he's making it happen. Six kills. 11 people left on the map. 
And this is the moment of truth. He's got what it takes. This is going to put him back in the game. Put him back at 100-100. And exactly what he was looking for. Gets a bolt action sniper rifle. Gets some small potions. Wow. What a return. Oh my goodness. This was one of the most incredible plays that I've witnessed in my entire casting career. Which means the past 30 minutes. Here he goes. There's someone up there sniping him. He's got to be careful. He's got everything he needs now. Seven people left on the map 999 wood 999 brick he's got the sniper he's got the rifle he's got everything he needs. he's gonna start shooting up there see if he can get a pick on that guy right there building his base there he goes the guy fell he fell to his almost to his death he's gonna try to shoot at him doesn't have the ammo got him he hit him a few times can he get a few more hits he got a few more hits. The guy fell down again. Okay, this is a stressful moment. Relic has to get the sniper off. The other guy doesn't seem to be that, that good at the game. He's just running away, not even building. Now he's building. He's trying to hide behind his thing. Relic going to try to get a pick on him. He's got a lot of ammo. He can actually waste it quite a bit. Now he's got to move. The zone's going to move in one second. There's a drop right in front of him. Can he pick it up? Can he get anything interesting? A rocket launcher would be the best thing here. And he gets it. Legendary. Legendary. Oh my goodness. He's getting everything he needs right here. Don't take any damage. That's anything he needs. Don't take any damage. Don't take any damage. Okay, he needs to go and just rush this person right here as quickly as he humanly can. Just get the damage on and just get this person down. Before they can do any damage to him. He needs all the HP that he can use. He needs all the HP that he can use. He got it. He got the kill. Unfortunately, he took a bit of damage in the meantime. Now, let's see. Can he go pick up some items that will help him out here? This person didn't seem to have that much on them. He's going to be 150 HP. This is all that he needs. He's going to have a scar as well. Good pick on the scar here. Going to get a few more potions. Five people left. Relic has currently got seven kills. He's got the rocket launcher. And 43 ammo he's going to have to use his brain. Because if he does, he gets the free win in this game for sure. Just needs to build a little bit of a base. And try to just pick off some people with that rocket launcher. It is one of the strongest weapons in the game. If not the strongest weapon in the entire game. He just needs to make sure he doesn't take any free damage. From people that are sniping. From people that are camping. Anything that can happen that are... That's bad for him. There's someone up there on the right. He can hear that person pop in that loot crate and that drop crate, whatever you want to call it. There are people shooting up there. He's going to be heading up there. He needs to get the picks on them before they get the pick on him. He's got the rocket launcher. Let's see if he can make it work. He's going to try for it. He's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. He did it. Yeah, this is what he was looking for. He just needed the hell pack. Let's use it. Now, three people left. Relic currently sitting at eight kills. Let's see where the last remaining two people are. He's going to get himself to maximum HP, 50 potions, not in a bad spot. He's got, again, 48 rockets, which are definitely enough to take down any other player in the game. They're very likely snipers. This is going to end in, I don't know where this is. I've never seen this place on the map. And, uh... He just saw someone in those runes. He's going to start shooting some rockets. Try to get some damage on that person. Oh, they're building right there in front of him. And he's going to just keep shooting. See if he can get some damage on them. Any rocket that hits is going to deal significant amounts of damage. That rocket just hit right there. He just did some damage. He just did some damage right there to the person. Great shot. He's going to keep shooting. Keep trying to get some damage on the person. He knows... Just how important every single one of these shots are. He's still got 30 ammo. He's going to keep shooting. Keep doing some damage. Keep trying to get this person low on HP. They're going to keep running away. Keep trying. Someone just opened a crate right next to him. He's going to go in. He's going to try to build. Make sure he doesn't get caught. He's going to shoot. This person is shooting a minigun, which is pretty much proof that they are bad at the game. Okay, he's playing against a bad player. Can he get it, though? Okay, he's got one. There's only one person left right behind him.
No! Relic lost the game. No, what did he do? The other guy was behind him while he was trying to kill the other guy with the minigun. And unfortunately, he got backstabbed. He got played. He was playing the game, trying to get all the kills. And unfortunately, that backstabbed him. And I think what we saw there in the end game was Relic playing a little bit too recklessly. Not trying to look for the other guy that he saw, that he hit. The other guy probably used a slug jug or anything to get himself back to full HP. And as soon as Relic went for the aggressive play on the person that was shooting the minigun, the other guy saw his opportunity come in. And he got the shot on him. He got the shot to 20 HP. And that really put him in a huge dis like disadvantage in this late game fight. Unfortunately, Relic's going to come in in second place. But not a bad game after all. Pretty proud of this one. He gave it a good shot. Got nine kills. And just died because of a bad decision in the late game. He could have avoided that by playing a little bit more safe. Just waiting for the zone. And maybe waiting for the other player to kill himself. Maybe waiting for the other player to move closer to him. Without engaging and not looking behind him where the other guy was rushing him. Not a bad game. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you soon for some more of them.